I need discipline. I'm not saying no to technology. You use games, you play games, you play social media. Social media is there to stay. But then be aware of the dangers. She's so attracted to that person. He chats. They both chat together and they share some intimate content. And the next day, the content is viral. That see, whenever there is a challenge, please thank that challenge. Thank you, you came into my life. Why? Because that challenge will teach you. There's, there is something inside which will bring you out. <laughs> Namaste. 1991, just clearing my 12th, and I failed to get into my dream career, which was brought in right from the beginning into me to become a doctor. I was all broken. Everybody around me was negative about me, and my motivation was lost. And then I joined a computer institute with a course, and uh, in one month, I was taken in as a lab instructor in the same institute on a salary of 400 rupees. My course was a two years course, and in one month only, I joined a job there with the course and the job from a scale of 400 to 800, 1200, and 3200. And that's it. I left the job, and I started my own institute. In a town, Agra, city of uh, Taj, I started an institute with my own name, Tandon Solution Provider. Hi, I'm Rakshit Tandon, cybersecurity evangelist. I have spoken and connected to 2.5 million kids in the country on the issue of cyber safety. I have trained law enforcement agencies right from Jammu to Kanyakumari on cyber crime investigation. And the third thing I do is I help law enforcement agencies solving these crimes. With my institute, when I started, uh, I got a lot of practical exposure from clients when I used to develop softwares for them. And there one day I was sitting and a law enforcement officer came to me for a help. A young girl was blackmailed on a very popular site of Google called Orkut. It was a stalking case. It took me 15 minutes to help the LEAs to track that person. During that 15 minutes, I had a brief interaction with that young girl, and I realized that how vulnerable these children are. And that is what ignited the fact that, listen, we need to help them. We need to guide them. Internet is a wild open space, it's a virtual world, and people need to realize how to live in virtual world. They are different in real world, and they are different in virtual world. And that is what started. I reached out to so many schools and colleges, and every day, every minute was very inspiring for me. Why? Because every day I used to get a new threat, and that experience made me what I am today. Children ask me how to be a hacker. I also want to become like you. I say, you have to work hard. You have to learn. Every day you have to learn. And when, when it comes to cyber security, young children, young children, very small children, they are addicted to mobiles. Parents come to me and say, my child is not leaving the phone. And what is he playing? He's playing a violent game. And what is the output? That child is becoming violent. A child in my country, he plays eight hours of game. The funny, funny games where you just have to kill people and shoot people. He has no time for his education, he has no time for his homework, health, hygiene, food. But he's so addicted to the game. Same is happening with my children when it comes to social media. So this is a message where one has to be very, very careful online. I need discipline. I'm not saying no to technology. You use games, you play games, you play social media, social media is there to stay. But then be aware of the dangers. My children, they make friends with unknown people. They want to share personal content. And what happens after that? A young girl recently, she connected with a boy, and she calls it a relationship. She's so attracted to that person, he chats, they both chat together, and they share some intimate content. And the next day, the content is viral, and the poor girl is about to break up. The family is about to break up. The digital world is wild. And once you do anything online, it is forever. It is forever. Once I click a picture on my phone, it is there forever. There is no command which can delete that picture. So think before you click. That is the basic rule. Think before you connect. Whom are you talking to? I got a case recently, a young lady, she was duped online with 16 and a half lakh rupees just because for getting a marriage offer. And this happened through a very popular site, a matrimonial site. So she got in contact with this person, and this person was so-called uh, NRI. They both connected, they chatted, and then finally said, I'm coming to marry you. And the next day, he got a call from the airport saying this person has lost his wallet. He needs to pay his duty to clear it up and come to you. And this girl helped that gentleman with 16 and a half lakh rupees. This was a fraud. And now this person recently got arrested by one of the cyber cells in the country. So 
when it comes to online frauds, one has to be very careful. Failing and rising is what I have learned. I remember those days when I just had 400 rupees in my pocket and I don't rem knew how to run my business or how to run my company. And everything was dying around me. But then my knowledge and my courage that see, whenever there is a challenge, please thank that challenge. Thank you, you came into my life. Why? Because that challenge will teach you. There is, there is something inside which will bring you out. Bringing that thing out of you is success. I was in a program and they were applauding me like anything. We have the top international cyber expert. He's a big shot. And Sorry, I'm not a big shot. I'm five foot seven inch. And uh, people call me a big person. Just because when they look back to my profile, it's a seven page profile. You name a department, I've been there. But that doesn't mean I'm a big person. It means, yes, I'm working hard. And I'm not failing. It feels very sad when I read a recent case in the newspaper, and this was discussed also in one of the law enforcement trainings, that a 25-year-old young man committed a suicide on a live streaming on Facebook, and 2,700 people were watching it. None of those persons reported the crime. Today, all these social media sites, they come with an excellent reporting tool. You report the content, and they take immediate action. If any one of that person would have reported this crime, there would have been police immediately at his doorstep and they could have saved that child. Another problem is that why was he so broken up? I was broken up when uh, I failed my medical examination. I was broken up when I had no money to run my business. But I never lose hope. Remember, when you go down, bilkul deep down, remember, there is only one way left. You have to come up. I still remember recently, one poor guy has uh, collected some money for getting her sister married and he works in a, in a government department and it was about uh, the her sister's wedding was about to come and a hacker hacked into his bank account and stole all the money this guy was broken and the poor guy could not file a complaint because for the law enforcement when you go to the law enforcement for online crimes and cyber crimes, there is a big gap. There is a big gap between the law enforcement and the online crime investigation. So in that poor village, there was no cyber cells and no facilities where he could file a complaint. And one of the senior officer who had heard me, who contacted me and I said, no, we'll do that. And with the help of our cyber cells in uh, metro cities, we got help him and a case was filed. And because there was a loophole found in the bank, the bank had to return the money to that victim and he got his money back. For online safety, my, my, my message to the youth and young children is that I need discipline online, number one. I'm not playing any application which is not on my age rating. So please, this is for parents as well as for children, you need discipline. If there is an app which says 12 plus, 13 plus, please follow that. It's so sad to see that 78% children in my country below 13 are using social media apps. And the age for social media is 13 plus. What they do? They cheat themselves. 11 year old child makes a social media account with a fake age. She becomes 17. So on social media age is 17. So what kind of friends will target? 18 and 19. A 19 year old person is talking to my 11 year old child. Are you okay with it? No. I can't buy this. And, when I, and it's very shocking when the child comes and tells me, my mama has opened my account for me. So parents, please look at the age rating. Number two, give discipline. I remember my school time, my father used to allow me one hour of play and that was strict. Today also I can do that as a parent. My child needs to play a game, my child needs to go on a social media for entertainment or whatever, fix the time. But today no times are fixed. My child is born with a smartphone and with a free internet Wi-Fi. And that is the problem we are facing. My children are becoming violent. My children are becoming socially exclusive. They, they can't, they have a social exclusion. They can't talk to people in real life. Third, reporting. Nobody can stalk you. Nobody can create a fake profile or nobody can post obscene content. This is a law. So if somebody is doing that, don't be scared. Nobody can blackmail you if your parents are with you and you don't lie to your parents. So children, if you have done something wrong, go and confess and accept. But don't get blackmailed or stalked by any unknown person online. And yes, don't forget the reporting features. And there are two things which I really strongly want to hit here is, whatever application you use, whatever technology you use, first, when you download, learn two things, security and privacy. Before that, don't, stop, don't start using it. You use WhatsApp and you don't know how to secure your WhatsApp. 
and then I get a complaint that somebody scanned my WhatsApp code and is misusing my WhatsApp. He can't scan your code because you don't know the feature of WhatsApp web. There is a feature on WhatsApp which is called two-step authentication. Every application has a two-factor authentication. Use two-factor authentication, nobody can hack you. So in one of the case, uh, a picture was downloaded, a normal picture of a young girl was downloaded, and a ba bad guy, we call them predators, he cropped the image, created a morphed image, and started blackmailing the girl. The girl got scared. There was no point to get scared because that picture was a morphed and an altered picture. Immediately report it to your parents and report it to the website. The website takes immediate action, and especially when it comes to children in my country, every, ev not only in India, in the world on internet, we have special protection units for children. And Government of India is very, very proactive on this. We have tools and websites where you can report such issues. And uh, especially for children, they, they have opened a portal, which is called cybercrime.gov.in, where you can go and report anonymously, and or you can report with your name. But do tell it to your parents' children so that they are there with you, and nobody in the world will be able to stalk you or blackmail you with that whatever dirty content or picture it is. Friends, whenever you install any application, you have to be very careful with the word called permissions. They ask you permissions like, I want to access your contacts, your messages, your SMS, your location. Just don't blindly say, I agree. Look at the app. Why are you using the app? Why is it important for you? And what permission do you need to give? Otherwise, sometimes these apps can steal all your private information and make it public. Whenever you have such a query, anything related to internet or a mobile or cyber threat, you can reach me out. On Facebook, I'm called Tandon.Rakshit. It's a verified account. You can see that blue tick. On Twitter, I'm called Tandon Rakshit. And my email is very simple. It gels with me. My name, info at RakshitTandon.com. Thank you. Tell us what you think about this video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.